Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. In this video, I am going to explain how we can automatically merge the pull request once it's approved. So, using this feature, you can increase your development velocity by enabling auto merge for pull request so that the pull request will merge automatically once it is approved. Once all the requirements are met, your PR will be automatically merged. So guys typically what happens is as a contributor I will create this PR let's say this is the PR which I have just created it has all the details and everything and uh, here I will ask I will assign some reviewer and uh, git will notify that particular reviewer that reviewer will take some time to review maybe couple of hours or a couple of days and once I get approval then I again have to open this pull request here using pull request tab and I will click on merge pull request this button. So after getting a approval after all the requirement mandatory requirements are met like approval or if there are any checks that you have configured in your pull request once all those are met then I have to come here and merge this pull request manually. And by the time it's quite possible like your base branch master is already updated by someone else and then you will see that you cannot merge your pull request automatically because of some conflicts so this is the one problem there is there is a there will be a more chance of getting a conflict because someone else will be updating master you don't need to come here you don't need to remember to come here open this pull request and merge it it will be done automatically you just need to configure this feature in the github for your repository this feature auto merge feature prevents you from waiting around for the requirement to be met you don't need to wait for this you don't need to keep look after it whether it is reviewed or approved or not so that you can merge and by the time you can focus on some other task so guys overall here we have to understand couple of steps which are very very important so first we will understand what are the prerequisite of it let's say i want to use this feature then there are certain prerequisite which i need to fulfill and then we will see how we can enable this feature pull request auto merge feature at repository level because this is the feature that you have to enable at repo level and then once it is enabled at the repository level you also have to enable this at the PR level I will explain why it is important why it is required we have to enable this at the repo level and then again we have to enable this at the PR level and we will also understand how we can disable let's say here once we enable then how we can disable this feature so let's understand all these pointers one by one so let's refer one of the repository for example git reset as usual so there are two prerequisites that we need to work on before using this feature so one prerequisite is obviously we have to enable this feature in the in the github for my project so let's understand how we can enable this so this is my project git reset and go to settings tab and under general section if you scroll down here we have one section called pull request and here we have one option called allow auto merge you can allow settings pull request to merge automatically once all the reviews and checks are passed so here need to understand this you can allow settings pull request so using this feature once i check this it is automatically saved so once i enable this feature i will get that flexibility to you know configure my pull request for auto merge or not i will explain in few seconds wait for merge requirement to be met and then merge automatically so first of all we have to enable this so this is the repository level feature once i enable it it will be applicable at the repository level for all the prs 
so this is the first requirement we have to enable and what is the second requirement the second requirement is that your base branch or your default branch here so in my case master branch is the default branch so your default branch should be protected so what i mean by protected is no one should be allowed to merge the changes directly into the master branch so let me show you once i go to settings again and under branches here is the branch protection rule and here i already have a protection rule for my default branch which is master branch and uh, i can edit this so here i have already enabled if you want to make changes to the master you have to go through go via pull request and so it is a requirement here which i have set is at least one approval should be there then only we can move ahead with the merger so directly no one can make changes into master branch so it should be done via pull request and there should be at least one approval for the changes which i am proposing via pull request so this is the branch protection policy which i have already created for my default branch which is master i have explained this concept in detail in these videos where you can learn why do we need branch protection policy and what are the benefit of it it is one of the very important concept that we all should be implementing in the repository so this was the another prerequisite you have to configure branch protection policy and why it is important why to use auto merge feature we need branch protection policy guys here let's understand this is the pr and if there is no branch protection policy configured for master and auto merge option is enabled and just because no protection policy is configured it means we don't need any approval over here and uh, probably we don't need to go through checks and all then as soon as i create this pull request it will be automatically merged immediately without any review without any checks so it makes sense to protect your base branch your default branch otherwise pr would merge automatically immediately after being raised so it is important to configure your branch protection policy for the default branch so these were the two requirement one enabling this feature which i already did under general section and another thing is configuring the protection policy protection rule for the default branch which i have already did over here so let's review how we are progressing so we understood the two prerequisites and we have also enable this feature so while understanding prerequisite we enable this feature at the repository level so we are done with the first two points let's see how we can enable this and why do we need to enable this at the pr level to understand this let's refer one of the pr and understand why again because we have already enabled here at repo level then it should automatically be applicable for all the prs right because we have enabled at the repo level but then why do we need to enable again at the pr level let's understand this so here i have the pr open the same pr let me refresh and if you come down here now we are getting enable auto merge just because we have enabled it here under general section allow auto merge now for my open pr i am getting enable auto merge what are the other feature other features are like normally how what we get we can we will have option to squash and merge or rebase and merge but now we are getting enable auto merge so please note here we are seeing this option but this pr this particular pr pr number 17 is not yet enabled for auto merge here we are getting this option by which we can enable this we can make pull request number 17 to auto merge once all the requirements are fulfilled 
Now one of the important question is why do we need to enable this again at the PR level? Why it can't be automatically enabled because we have enabled it already at the repo level, right? So guys, this makes sense because this gives us a flexibility to decide which PR I want to merge automatically and which I don't. There may be a situation where you want PR to merge automatically and there may be a situation where this PR is dependent on some other PR and you want to merge this only after your other PR is merged. So in that case, you would not want to enable auto merge for this particular PR. So there may be a situation where you need this feature, but in case of any dependency, then you would not want to enable this feature. So that is the reason this flexibility has been given. If you want to enable this particular PR, if you want to make eligible for auto merge, then you can configure it here again. But if you see like there is no need, we cannot do auto merge because it has some dependency, then you would leave it as is. So currently at this point of time, this pull request is not yet enabled. We are just getting an option to enable the auto merge. So let's see how we can enable this. Click on enable auto merge and we are getting a message and if you want to give any comment here, then confirm auto merge. This is not merge. We are not merging it. We are enabling this PR for auto merge. Confirm auto merge. And auto merge enabled. Now it is enabled. This pull request will merge automatically when all requirements are met. Now it is clear why do we need to enable auto merge at PR level, at pull request level. So this pull request is now enabled for auto merge. As soon as all the requirements are met, then this will be automatically merged. And we did this, we understood why do we need to enable, what are the benefits because it's give us a flexibility where I want to enable and for where I don't want to enable. Disable auto PR, disable auto merge. So just because this is enabled, auto merge is enabled. I am getting a option disable auto merge. Using this option, I can disable the auto merge feature for this PR. So what are the requirement here? So this is enabled. Let's understand the requirement. And here is the the important role came because of the protection policy. So one of the policy that we have configured for my master branch for my default branch says you cannot make changes directly into the master branch. So as per the protection policy that I have configured, it says if you want to make any changes into master, there should be at least one approval in place. Someone at least one person should review and provide approval. Then only you will be able to merge the changes from demo branch to master branch. Here this PR is enabled for auto merge, but it will not be merged unless we have one approval over here. So getting an approval is the only requirement here. And as soon as I will get approval, then this PR will be automatically merged. Let's see in practical. So let me request for the review. So this is the another collaborator who is in who is a user in git reset and uh, I have requested the same user to review this and uh, this is the user which I have already logged in automation elearn24 june and uh, let me refresh and the pull request and see this is the same pull request in git reset pull request number 17 I have opened the same pull request git reset PR number 17 and Suresh Dubey requested your review on this pull request so so I will review it okay I am fine and what I will do is I will click on approve and see now look at both the windows over here 
here i have selected approve and as soon as i submit my review here it will be automatically merged so let's give a try i am approving this now and see here on this window my pull request is automatically merged so automation e learn 24 june approve this change and suresh dubey merged commit this into master now and my branch is also deleted so these are the sequence of activity happens as soon as this user has given approval this pr is automatically merged because that was the only requirement at least there should be one approval in place so this user has approved the requirement met and pull request is automatically merged and this is the feature this is the great feature by which you can increase your development velocity so let me summarize what we did actually so to use this feature you have to fulfill the requirement the requirement is to enable this feature which is this one and to create the branch production policy for your default branch and once you have enabled this feature you also have to enable this feature at the pr level because i don't want all my pr to auto merge i want to keep a control on the pr it is a case by case if i want then i can enable otherwise i will not so this is about flexibility so after creating a pull request you can enable the auto merge and forget about it once approval is in place it will merge automatically no need to wait for the approval and merge it manually you don't need to bother about it and we also understood after enabling at the pr level how we can disable we will automatically get this option using this you can disable also all right guys so that was all about pull request auto merge feature on github i hope you have learned something new today from this video please reach out to me if you have any doubts or any questions please subscribe to this channel to learn many other concept and features thank you for running this one thank you